the final command spell. The last command spell. This today's episode title. And the next one, the finale, it's called Fate Zero. Oh man. We are truly in the end game right now. What's happening? I just feel it's being consumed by the grill because she's the vessel for it to manifest. Rider is done. Gilgamesh showed the most utmost respect for Iskandar and Waver. That was some really cool moments. And seeing Gilgamesh's strongest, you know, treasure, Ea. Anti fortress, anti army, no, anti world. So the reality marble that Rider created, it was the perfect counter. It's unfortunate what happened, but hey, it is what it is. Berserker and Saber are having a little bit of trouble right now, right? Because Saber is. Ugh. Saber is just fucking taking L's after L and after L, and now we have to realize that, oh no, there's this person who's Lancelot, who apparently have been done dirty due to Saber's foolish ideals in the past. I'm sure we're going to cover that stuff, and then we're also going to get Kiritsugu versus Kire. That fight, <laughs> not going to lie, I don't give a fuck about the other fights right now. I, I don't care about Saber versus Berserker. I want to see Kiritsugu Kire. Let's begin to this reaction. Oh! No build? I mean, it, it's been 24 episodes of build-up. Holy shit, it's happening. Holy shit, it's happening right now? <laughs> Yo! Motherfucker command spells, bro. It just makes his blade longer. You don't have to say it. Get this blonde bitch out of my face, bro. Where are my men at? Where's Kiri Kiritsugu? You gonna bait me in the intro chain with that? And you gonna- Oh, my saber! Why are you feeling the list? Where are my ideals? <sighs> i become a saber hater. I have become a saber hater. I thought that throughout the season, she's, she's gonna fucking figure it out. But, like, at this rate, it doesn't look like saber's really gonna have any sort of, like, redemption. If there's even supposed to be any redemption. She just gets shit on. For her foolish ideals, and is she just gonna have a tragic ending too? Surely she's gonna get some closure with Lancelot, right? So many more. There we go, there we go. This is the shit I care about. That was an origin bullet? We already using origin bullets, bro? Holy shit! Uh -huh. the, the blade don't care, bro. <laughs> Crazy shit, bro. Kide is moving as fast as double that cell just by default. That jump dodge is crazy. The bull none of the bullets landed here. Yeah. I th it's the command spells to like counter the origin bullets. I don't know how he's doing it, but it's doing it. Yeah. Yeah. He just counters Kirei, bro. Sorry, he just counters Kirisugu. There's no magic circuits to sever. It's the command spells from daddy. Anything- But if he took a bullet shot, I- Surely it's gonna do something if we land one on his head. <laughs> you don't need a claws? You saying fuck the claws? You, you have hands? Dude, if you're in a street fight and a guy just does this shit, most of the times, it's a chuny kid that has no idea of martial arts and is doing random fucking kung fu poses. But Kirei, when he does that shit, I believe him. So we need to create our own fucking reality marble internally to fucking accelerate ourselves 2x. And he's like, okay. 2x? Bet. I'll just go a little faster then. And if he goes faster, surely we're gonna see time alter 
triple axel fuck it quad axel fuck it penta axel how far can kitty to go all i've seen is double axel and triple stagnate he jumped off one foot then he started gliding super fucking fast Rotation. Yeah, we're cooked. We're cooked. Yeah, okay. Kide is fucking crazy. Yeah, Ki dude, I, I had no idea Mr. Mapo Tofu the meme was this fucking sick in Fate Zero. Because again, all I know about this guy is FGO memes. But like, holy shit, he's superhuman. What the hell? Oh, not those. You're I gonna take she gonna take that shit literally aerial fucking curb stomp. <laughs> Saber, do something about it. Fighting. What the <laughs> Wait What you see that magic trick? I didn't turn into flames and grill to show them. <laughs> it literally manifested. Bye, Idy. Kiritsuka, can you? I don't think he can walk this off. Like Kiritsuka is a regular human compared to Kire. You know, like these kind of hits. I can he just tank this? Like. I'm sure a couple organs has fucking exploded inside. <laughs> you fucking... You, you fucking... <laughs> he's playing dead. He's fucking playing dead, bro. Yeah. Okay. Reload. Dude, he's so fast. 5 second reload. Another command spell incoming. Oh. <laughs> yeah, so the origin bullet can't appear. It's regular bullet can't because of his executor hardened body. But okay, the hand is gone, maybe? Oh, okay, that punch did fucking demolish your card. Okay, so the organ literally got demolished, but Avalon, right? Regeneration. So it looked like he was playing dead. He was basically dead, then got regenerated and shot. So if you destroy the brain, if you land a hit on the brain, then Avalon can't do shit? Legs and left arm only. <laughs> oh my god, this is some gear 3 shit. Like, oh, just every time he increases the Excel by what I'm like, oh, fucking peak fiction. Oh, let's go, triple. Pistol win? <laughs> Grail is filling up with blood? The sacrifices of the other heroic spirits? Huh? <laughs> and he's still in triple XL mode based on his facial restrictions. Yo, Kide straight up with one arm. Kiritsuko, fucking think of one arm. Kiri is too good. Kiri is just that fucking better at martial arts. Close combat. Oh, man, yeah, just... Oh. I'm out. Oh, dude. 
So it's, it's not quad XL, it's square XL. Like, it's like double squared. Four, four XL. Square XL! <laughs> Oh, this is fucking crazy. This is a crazy fucking setup. Four black keys just throwing right from the sides. Kira is also coming. What do you do? What the fuck do you do here? Shoot. The grill right above us. Did we get bailed out? Would we have lost there? Did Kira get bailed out? The end outcome of this fight is a bit ambiguous. <laughs> Kadia? What the? I heard a stabbing noise. I don't get this. Where did the sound effect come from? It's not like a hit that Berserker took and is now being transferred to Kadia, or was that just like a random sound effect to kind of like show that, yeah, Kadia's dead right now? I think so. Bugs inside. It sounded like he like, maybe organs exploded, the worms. I don't know, but he's done. No, no, this. See, so this was just again, just like the sound of Berserker getting pierced with the sword, but you know, and then showing Kadia first to kind of show that, yeah, he's already also done. Ooh. Saber one. But Saber doesn't really know the truth about the Grail either, right? Like, I don't think anyone's wishes are gonna come true, bro. It's it's like it's like a passage to the root, seven sacrifices. So maybe like similar to Kadia in terms of like why he was motivated to join, but it all seemed kind of pointless at the end. Is Saber also going to have like an empty closure where it's just like, shit, what did I do? He's talking! Rest in peace, Lancelot. That's that for Lancelot and Berserker. Island, Mango Island, Ali Mango. There's black rain. Heidi. I mean, the grill kind of fell on us. All that, all that like red black goop overflow from the grill and fell on us. So did we win? I mean, no, Gilgamesh is still alive. I don't know how this is working. Yeah? あれが聖杯。まだ形を得ていないか。オッケー。あとは祈りを告げるだけでいい。そうするこ。ゴーズアウトサイド。イッツゴーズアウトサイド。だから this is not Aidy, bro. This is Aidy's face. The Grail has taken over. She gone. Okay. So we're talking with the Grail right now? Seems like it. What's your wish? What does that mean though? Hold up. The, the deal was I win the battle royale, I get my wish granted. And then Kirei said the real secret is it opens a passage to the root after sacrificing all seven holy spirits. And now it's like <laughs> the grail wants to be born into the world. I don't I don't like this. We cannot release the grail onto the world. I don't like this. A new monster might come out. Okay, 
あなたが誰よりもよく理解できているはずじゃない方なんてあなたは Does it kill all the bad people? Yo, <laughs>、oh, the deal is you're gonna grant me that wish. I'm gonna g r a t you that wish. I'm gonna grant you that wish. I'm gonna grant you that wish. The grail will take a form. Get out. Grant Kirisugu's wish in a monkey paw kind of. I don't even know if it's a monkey paw because his idea was to kill all the bad people and the good people live. The grail would then go out and just exterminate the bad people according to what it deems to be bad. Huh? ここから先はあなた自身の内側に問いかけてもらうしか。もう一方の船に300人、もう一方の船に200人、お客と、あとはエミヤ・キリツグ、仮にこの501名を。お、we're getting Dreams literally placed in front of us. Sacrifice few to save many. But there's 300 and 200 on the ship. 501 people of humanity's last survivors. All right. And the voice is Kiritsugu, too. Well, we can only save one ship. We gotta save the ship with more people on it, right? Do you want 300 people dying or 200 people dying? Obviously. What do you mean captured? Hold up. We, the, the other ship should have drowned. <laughs> In this hypothetical situation, you can't fucking set me up with a gotcha and, and then fucking come up with some bullshit and be like, oh, gotcha? <laughs> now the 200 people are pirates. They're gonna fuck you up now. <laughs> Fuck him, I gotta save the 300! <laughs> Kiritsugu would kill them. All 200. Because they're getting in the way to save 300. <laughs> This is haunting, man. This is your ideals at play, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, the grill is really just showing us like how flawed our ideology is, huh? Like, at the end of the day, ideals and stuff like it, the world is not absolute. You can say all about, I want the greater good, so you know, sacrifices have to be made, but it's not just that simple. There's complexities and nuances at play, and now it's just like you just slaughtered all 200 in this situation by saving 300. I, I guess you still save more people, but at the end of the day, He still killed them. Don't answer the call. Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> Stop it. Oh no. Here's another one. Okay. The surviving 300 abandoned the damaged ship. Why? We fucking, we fucking fixed it for you. Why? I see. I see the logical fallacy that the Grail is trying to show us. If we're simply given an example where you have a lot of people and less people and see who you're going to save, of course you're going to pick a lot of people. But after you've saved that one group, that's going to split again. Then you're going to save a lot of people again. Then they're going to split again. Then they're going to split again. Then at the end, You're left with saving two people or one person at the end, then there's one on one left. And then what? And, and, and then what? You know? It, I, I know that this example is very restricted, where it's just like we're working off of the 300 that we saved by sacrificing 200. But this logical fallacy projected at Kirisuga right now does challenge like, a lot of like, these logical holes that he has with his, like, his goals and like, ideology. But will saving less people help? And that's the thing. It's not about choosing less or greater. Both outcomes, at the end of the day, people will fucking die. We're, th I, this whole theme, like, yes, at a first glance, what Kirisugu is doing by being an anti here, by killing the less to save the more, it kind of makes sense. But at the end of the day, you're still killing. You're not fucking a good person. 
That sounds funny. And it, it's it's like showing like again like the fault and the holes, the loopholes that exist within his own ideology by trying to save people by killing. Like at the end of the day, people will just die. You know, I I think that we need to talk about um who made these ships. <laughs> I, I, I think we need to really think of okay. The problem here isn't Kiritsugu's ideals; it's the fucking ship maker. Okay, God damn it. You better kill them and save the 200, right? <laughs> well, kill the 100 and go save the 200. But after we do that, they split again and over and over until we've killed everybody. Oh. oh. New scenery. We blew that up, baby. That's another ship blown up. Classic Kiritsugu. That's right. In this example, again, you could have an example where you save 300 and then 200 died, and that's it. You could say that's the end of the day. But I think that life isn't that simple, right? And the Grail is giving this unfair example to kind of prove that, bro, you're still fucking killing. Mm -hmm. That's right. But in this, in Emiya Kiritsugu's mind, it would have ended with. Saving 300 and killing 200. But again, it's not that simple. Now we've, we're in a situation where we ended up killing 300 and only 200 is alive. And I bet it's going to keep going and going and going until no one's alive. That's right. <laughs> Isn't the grill kind of being nice to us right now then? Before we commit to a wish that could be fucking terrible for the world, the grill is like, bro, this is what your ideology really is and we need to stop it. I don't know, is the grill taunting? Like, I'm still gonna do it? Seems like we're learning a lesson though. And relying on a miracle because you're, you realize that your ideology could not be completed. That's. Huh. I feel like the existence of this wish making machine is the fucking fault. People will then just like make bullshit excuses of like, oh, I can't do it by myself. I have these ideals, but I can't do it. Maybe this wish can just solve everything with my problems. You know? It's just like deferring. It's just like, now, you know, I had these ideas in my head, but it's actually not that simple. And maybe if, if a wish could just happen, then everything will be just solved. But at the, from the beginning, that, that, that method was wrong. And now you're trying to figure out a way to get bailed out by the grail. Maybe an abomination. Oh. oh. Alright. Natalia. This, this, this ship that we blew up, Natalia. I need a little help with this. <laughs> I need a little help with this. So you truly are Angra Mine New. What does that mean? What, what, what does that mean? I, this is like some fate lore shit that I'll never understand unless I Google it right now. What does angry man mango mean? What's an angry mango, guys? Come on. Don't make me fucking Google it right now. What's an Angra Mine you? Unless the show is going to explain to me later on? I don't know. Okay. So he's supposed to be the like embodiment of all evil? But that's what he kind of was doing, you know? His ideology. It all stemmed from, I will simply become an absolute evil that no one can defy, and therefore then peace will be had. In fact, this is, it's not the same, but in One Punch Man, there was a character named Garo, who was similar in the way that he didn't like that the heroes would always win. He was rooting for the villain, and it was unfair that the villain was getting bullied. But then he realized, you know, all these sufferings can end if I simply become the ultimate evil, the ultimate power to prevent people from, you know, bullying each other. I don't know. Kiritsugu right now is obviously taking him upon himself to be this, like, ultimate evil 
to like <laughs> kill the necessary to save humanity, but you know, it's not that simple. Maya. <laughs> you know, in this example, he's gonna do the exact opposite and kill Idisfield and Ilya to save Maya. He cried for Maya. I didn't see his ass cry for Idisfield, and he didn't even look at his kid in episode one. Ow. I understand that he has this guilt, okay? I'm memeing here right now. Episode 1, it was just a funny moment because one of the first lines was, Oh, Kiritsugu, you're a father! Look, she has your eyes! Look at her! And he's like holding a baby and Kiritsugu's like looking out the window. <laughs> I'm like, god damn, bro. <laughs> How about neither? There is no objectively correct answer. There isn't. It doesn't matter if we kill two or if we kill one. At the end of the day, you're still fucking killing. So sometimes maybe it's not up to you to decide if you're going to act God and try to save people. I feel like it's... It, 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 there, sh there should be an option where like, no, I'm going to do neither. I will abandon my ideals and rethink it. <laughs> Maya! Aww. No, 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 but here's the thing. We're in a logical fallacy where I get it, right? The boats were holed up. You have to choose 300 or 200. But I'm saying the fact that we're even in that position is wrong to begin with. It doesn't matter if you save 300, it doesn't matter if you save 200. At the end of the day, they're all gonna fucking die according to these bullshit logical fallacies. Right? You save 300? Sure, now they're gonna keep splitting until you're done with one. You save 200? Doesn't matter. Same shit's gonna happen. You let them all die, then they're all dead. This whole problem is the issue. It's, it's the ideology that is the issue that's created this fucking, it's save this or that. Why does that even exist? Right? I know that the examples that happened in Ali Mango Island and him not being able to kill Shirley, and then more people died. Then later on, he decided to kill Natalia, and maybe more people are saved. But I just feel like we're too stuck in that box, you know? We're in this fucking box, and we're, we're fucked in this box. This entire box that is Kiritsugu's ideals is the problem. There is a different option. I don't know how, but I feel like being stuck in this box is the problem. Can we do that? <laughs> Bring back Idisfield? Yeah, and he will no longer be able to cheat Ilya out of a little game. This, this dude literally cheated against his daughter just to get more points. A fraud. That's crazy. That's fucking crazy. You're next, I just feel. Go meet your daughter. <laughs> oh, you're making this personal with the choke. You know what's even more fucked up? This is how Kire killed Airi by choking her. Yeah? Six billion people against two members of my family. The scales. Are, are we saying kill the two members of my family to save six billion people right now? Angry Mango again. Dude. Ch 
just like Deermood cursing, man. The curse in the grail. <laughs> Holy shit. <sighs> so if he killed two people to save six billion, he stuck to his guns at the end, huh? Like, no matter if it's flawed or not, no matter if his ideology is flawed, he's still going down the ship, literally dying on that hill through this example. Holy shit. The grill. The battle is not over yet? <laughs> it's interesting though. Right? Because the Grail was showing him his philosophy of the ideology, but at the end, he killed two to save six billion, implying if he wished upon the Grail for his ideology, his dreams to come true, then everyone would have died. You know? Like a lot of people would have fucking died. But instead, he didn't to save human. How did we just go in a circular loop? I. Yet him refusing to wish but still sticking to his ideals somehow saved the world. From the problem that he was going to create. You know what I mean? That's very interesting. We, we went full circle. Everything about this was bad. The ideology was flawed. And then he, he fucking followed through on the ideology with that example by killing his family to save six billion and he refuses to wish and now... Huh. Even if we're wrong, we can be right, guys. You know? <laughs> we, if, we, even if we're wrong, we're correct in this situation. I, this is blowing my mind. Yep. More people would have died. It's that simple. What does Kiri want? Hold up. I thought Kiri didn't want shit. What do you mean? What do you want? Infinite Mapo Tofu supply. Who I am as a person? I mean, Kirei has been going through a one hell of a soul searching session, yeah, I agree, throughout this whole season, and now he's kind of closer to the truth, whatever this truth is. I'm not sure if Kirei even understands what he's seeking for, but something is longing in his heart, and it feels like the grill could answer that. And like, if this doesn't happen, then I'll never really have an understanding of who I really am. Oh, reverse card. Why, why are you doing 07s in chat? You fucking know his ass coming back with the fucking mullet and unlimited blade works that happens in this fucking timeline. Don't fucking lie to me. What? You, come on now. Don't fucking play with me. I know his ass exists. In, <laughs> I've seen it. I've seen the fucking game. I, 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 I have seen him. <laughs> or, or we could just play with the memes. We, we can just play with the memes and Kirei is dead and now Kiritsugu has killed Tosaka Rin's second dad. <laughs> Tosaka Rin's guardian? <laughs> Rin is truly an orphan now. Saber. I mean, Gilgamesh is still around, I think. Maybe. But the mana supply, I don't know how that works. Gilgamesh. What's up, King? What's <laughs> up? Yeah, you fucking uh, writhe and moan and groan like a fucking holy virgin about to get deflowered. You're gonna say some weird shit, right? <laughs> oh, wow. Gilgamesh wants Saber to his wife? <laughs> okay. He's right about that. He's right. <laughs> fall into an endless pleasure with me. 
この世の海と越のすべてを賜わそう。Keep struggling with my own foolish ideals or give it up and go party with Gilgamesh. I mean, shit. I feel like there's a right answer, but I feel like Gilgamesh's offer is. <laughs> it'd be pretty fun, right? It'd be, pretty, it'd be really fun. So, not that I want to know how many. But I should say, I'll buy the car. Oh, shit. Oh, <laughs> Gilgamesh doesn't care about consent, but I guess. You know, the king of heroes. What's consent to king of heroes? Whenever Gilgamesh talks to Sabre, it's all really kinky, man. Kind of weird. <laughs> the last command spell! The last command spell is today's episode's title, man. We don't hear the command spell though? Here it is, here it is, here it is. Here it is, here it is, here it is, here it is. Destroy the grail. It's gotta be destroy the grail. Kirisugu right now, that grail existence, it cannot happen. His goal is to get rid of the grail and prevent anything bad from happening. Excalibur this shit. Seihaiyo. Seihaiyo. Oogu ni te seihaiyo. Oh, now this is the last command spell. Holy shit, wait, 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 wait. The third spell. We're doubling down? It's a wedding ceremony for him, bro. It's just a wedding ceremony. The last of Zashu. Say how you shoot. Three hours and 42 minutes left, man, before the end of the Grail War. And today's episode is there a post credit scene? No, this is the preview shit. Ah, bro, this fight delivered. Kirisugu Kire. I wish it was a bit longer. It was honestly a pretty long fucking fight. Dude, it was so sick. We see double XL, triple XL, square Axel. Is there a Penta? I don't know. Maybe there is in my head cannon. Kitty's martial arts, it's all executor movement. It's so sick, too. My man is just, he doesn't need double XL. He just fucking charges in. They're just super fucking human. These churches are just training up super soldiers, man. The battles were so sick, but the grill kind of cucks us to see who really won. I don't know. In this last situation, where the four black keys are surrounding Kiritsugu, with Kirei charging into the front, and Kiritsugu's only action is to shoot... What, what could he possibly do? Could he fucking... <laughs> Maybe this is... Okay, he could have done this. If the grail didn't happen because I want to glaze Kiritsugu, so he would have shot while doing this. Like some Matrix shit. Shot... And the fucking blades would go over him yeah that's what he would have done matrix shot while leaning back dodge the blade it would have been so fucking sick but we get cucked we get cucked out of the fight the grail then shows us such an interesting set of examples and definitely the examples that the grail showed us was so unfair because in kiritsugu's mind obviously if we sacrifice 200 to save 300 you've done a good job but what the Grail is trying to show us is that if you keep being limiting yourself in this box of the ideology that you're in, what if happens if the 300 people you save then kind of like split into two and you got to keep doing this over and over again? At the end of the day, you're not going to have anyone fucking left. Maybe to prove that there are no good or bad people at the end of the day. All people could be bad, all people could be good, I'm not sure. But Kiritsugu realizes the flaw in his ideology. At least by having the Grail make that ideology's wish come true. And this final moment, he kills Idy and Ilya, which are obviously not the real ones, but to kind of prove a point that I will kill two to save humanity. So he doubles down on his ideology to prevent the Grail from killing more. So in a sense, his ideals were correct? No, it's not. It's just that his ideals were about to get exaggerated onto another scale. And he prevented that because he's clearly aware that his ideals are flawed, right? Even if it looks like he doubled down on his ideals 
and save the world, I think that he created the fucking problem. And he realizes, okay, we gotta stop doing that. You know what I mean? The ending here with <laughs> Gilgamesh and Saber is just kind of fucking creepy. <laughs> Be my wife. <laughs> Consent? What are you talking about? Oh, yeah. This is my wedding ceremony. What the fuck, Gilgamesh? But if you think about it, misogyny roots back to the distant past. And he's from the, he's from the ancient, ancient times. So it makes a lot of fucking sense to me. We got one more episode left, and it's called Fate Zero. I think that this grail is about to get destroyed. And what the fuck was the point of the Holy Grail War? Tokiomi didn't reach the root. He's dead. Aoi's dead. Rin has no family. Or well, Rin doesn't have a, you know, parents anymore. Kitsuka kills. Kirei kills. You know, kill the guardian. Sakura still got warmed. Fucking Kariya joined for no fucking reason. Just got tormented more. Kitsugu just is net zero. Straight up nothing fucking happened at the end of the day. He's maybe now he's realized that his ideals are fucking just flawed too. Rider and Waver. No, it was a good for Waver. It was good for Waver. Waver learned what it is to be a man. I think that's actually a good ending. Ryunosuke obviously met his end, but he kind of like reached enlightenment and saw what he was really looking for, which was deep inside. So honestly, it's so fucked up that he got a good, end good ending with Caster, right? They got a closure. Lancer got just, oh, he got done so dirty. Deermood got done so fucking dirty. But Kane had been so lonely. <laughs> they got done even dirtier. It's just, the more I think about it, there's very few people that actually benefited, and it could be just, you know, waver at the end of the day. That's it from me. If you're still here, though, and if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video, check out the other playlist for even more content, and until next time, take care.